In the book of the Revelation, the Apostle John speaks to us about the end of the world and how God will bring judgment on a sinful earth for our rebellion against Him. And there's this curious passage in the sixth chapter of the book of Revelation. In verse 13, it talks about how the sixth seal was broken. I'll begin reading in verse 12. And I looked, speaking of the Apostle John, when he broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth made of hair, and the whole moon became like blood. And the stars of the sky fell to the earth as, fig, as a fig tree casts its unripe frigs when they are shaken by a great wind. And so the question is asked by a lot of skeptics of the Bible, how exactly again is it that the stars can fall to the earth? How exactly is it that these stars that we see are light years away from us, are millions of times the size of the earth, going to fall down from the heavens and come crashing down onto the earth? How is it possible? When we look at passages in the Bible, we have to understand that there is a cultural understanding of terms that historically must be taken into account when we practice our exegesis, our, our, our exposition, our explaining of any biblical text. When we study the Bible, when we approach the Bible, we have to approach it from the standpoint of what the authors were trying to communicate. And in the first century, the, the understanding of what a star is, is not what our understanding of a star is in the modern sense when we are solely concerned with sun-like entities and the heavens. When the ancients looked at stars, they weren't just talking about stars in the modern sense. That is part of what they understood stars to be. However, the ancients made no distinction between the stars that we understand as sun-like entities out in the universe. They also classified planets as stars. The wor very word planet comes from the word for wandering star because the planets were viewed as wandering stars in the heavens because they wandered about the heavens as stars in the ancient understanding of the term. Also, in our modern vocabulary, we speak about shooting stars. Well, what are shooting stars? Stars that shoot across the sky? No. No. Shooting stars, even in our modern understanding, are really meteors or asteroids that come down onto the Earth. You know, so I, I could definitely understand the Apostle John being given a vision of the future and then seeing what looked to him like a third of the stars falling down onto the earth. Probably a, a giant meteor shower. I mean, he's clearly not talking about an entity a million times the size of the earth coming down and crashing onto the earth. You know, don't... Don't try and force an error into the Bible where there's no logical reason to do that. Just open your mind to how people understood the terms. 
open your mind to how people even understand the terms today and understand that there are multiple ways to apply the word star even in our modern vocabulary when we talk about shooting stars.